or should you not give your kid an allowance? Oh, uh, wow. It's this a very a, interesting question. I know people really feel very is. differently about it. I did not get an allowance as a kid mm -hmm. uh, growing up. My mother believed that, she told me that my job was to do school. Yeah. Right, that was my job. And as long as I did school well, meaning got A's, she would just, if I needed money or wanted money, I could ask her for it and I could get it. Yeah. You know, um, I mean, and I wasn't asking for like, you know, like, oh, I'm gonna buy a car money. You know what I mean? Right. Um, hanging out with friends stuff. So, and she also didn't believe in attaching it to like chores. Right. But I know a lot of people feel very strongly about that. What well, do you do with Abby? Well, with Abby, here's the deal. I didn't get an allowance either, and my mother always wanted to know where my money was going. You know, right. she wanted to know what are you spending your money on, and so I had to tell her what I was going to do with like, that what money. Was it like gum, candy? Yeah, yeah or, like, or like if I'm going on a school trip, tea bills, or bonds, what have you, tea like what? Bonds. <laughs> like but, she acts like there's some. Well, I just invested in this third world drug scheme. Like what are you talking about, mom? It's and, gum, candy, stuff you can get at the corner market. Totally. But for, with Abigail, we don't give out an allowance, and um, and she she hoards money. She does hoard. I mean, hoards. I it. Some people call it saving. Yes, yes. But she's very focused on saving money, holiday money. Your mother sent her, mother has sent her hundreds, hundreds of dollars. dollars. Okay, and so it's you know, a pipeline. So she's got you know a bank account and all of that stuff. But here's the thing: I know that a lot of people do think about it and want to do it, but I I, I also think it's a classist thing too. Mm -hmm. A lot of families don't have ten dollars every week for you know or fifty, five. and it's got to be five dollars. Yeah. A week. And at this point, though, with, you know, what can you do with less than that? This yes. is, we're not living at a time where $2, can you, I don't even think you can get a pack of gum right. necessarily for $2. Absolutely. You can't necessarily do that every week. And just a lot of people think that the idea of getting money just for existing right. is sort of like weird. And I'm you not going to pay you to do your chores. You, you are part of this household. That's, now I'm upset now. Exactly. You're part of this household. You don't get paid to do that. This is what you exactly. did. That's the tax for living here. The tax for living here. We asked your Frangelisa and parents about whether or not you give your kids allowances, and 32% said yes, but 68% said no, which mm. I think is interesting. I bet if we had results, like if this show had been on like 50 years ago, right? Um, like it would be different. Mm -hmm. We also asked you online if you've ever taken your kid's allowance away as a punishment, and here's what Jay Peterson said. He said, I took the doorknob for the first offense, then the door. Privacy is more precious than money. I think that's brilliant. I do too. That's I mean, brilliant, Jay. That's brilliant. You want to do that? So some experts believe that allowances do more harm than good, and mm. some believe allowances are a great motivation tool. Here's some pros and cons, yeah. all right? So here's some pros. Some people think that it helps kids understand that you get money by earning it. Yeah. I That's, I guess, if you will, if you attach the allowance to some right. activity, right? Right, right, right. And uh, it teaches kids how to budget. I think only if you sit down with them and show them budgeting, how, though. Exactly. You know, exactly. like, otherwise it's just, here's You're money. You're throwing money to the wind. Yeah. Here, go spend this on bubble gum. Uh, here's some cons, all right? Getting an unconditional allowance doesn't teach financial li literacy. I think that's, that's what we, we just, just said. said. Okay, because we're brilliant. Because we're brilliant. Thank you very we much. We don't save money, but we're brilliant. Yes, um, yes. Research shows that talking about money with your kids is just as effective as giving them an allowance. Well, guys, let's get some guidance from an expert. We've got best-selling author and entrepreneur Tom Gagliano on the phone. Hi, Tom. Hi, how you doing? Good. Good. Thank you. Now, Tom, are you for or against allowances? Tell us. Depends on the manner you give it. Look, at the end of the day, what we need to do as parents is get our kids ready to go in the outside world. Mm. That's what we need. Prepare them with self-esteem, knowing that they can have their parent come back to their parents, but also to be able to handle their discomforts on their own. Mm. So let's take, let's take allowance and put it into that. I tell parents very important that it's... You, Trying to control your kids' behavior is not going to work. It's okay. not going to work because eventually they're going to get old enough and do what they want to okay. do, not what you tell them to do. Right. What you want to do is supply them with the tools to control their own behavior mm. so they make decisions because they want to, not because their parents are bending their arm to. I love so, that, Tom. Absolutely. Thank you. So getting back to allowance, you know, what is allowance used for? You know, to tell our children the choices they make are the consequences that they have. Right. If you don't clean your room, you don't get the allowance. Okay. That was your choice. If you don't come in at a certain time, you can't go out tomorrow. Right. That was your choice, not my choice. Mm. So we, we get our kids ready 
to face the world and understand that the choices they make will dictate what happens to them. So they don't go ahead and blame other people. Thank they you. They instead right. will understand that it's the choices that they make. And the problem with allowance is mm -hmm. you can develop destructive entitlement where, again, you know, the world's not going to treat your kid the way you treat your kid. Right. And it, it's important for your kid to understand that you don't get anything for nothing. And Hi. if you start to develop a destructive entitlement in a child, they're going to walk out of the house when they're 18, 19, 20, and expect the world to treat them the way mom and dad does. Exactly. Well, that ain't Thank you so, so much, Tom. Me Time with Frangela. 